hello my beautiful collective welcome to my platform thank you for watching as always let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here uh, real quickly so apparently people don't want me posting to this page so someone went and cut off the internet where i'm staying um and the bill is paid on my phone as well <laughs> it's so crazy the stuff i'm going through behind closed doors uh behind the scenes because people just don't want me posting on here i guess um, I guess what I'm saying is truth to, is the truth and it's bothering people. Anyways, we're going to keep posting. I'm going to go take my phone to get it taken care of. This is a brand new plan, so there's no reason why the service will not be working. Um, <laughs> it's just really hysterical because it's like I know exactly who are or behind the scenes doing this. And when the time comes for us to go to court, you best believe I'm taking each and every one of you to court. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into our read. Someone from your past is having nightmares. They are facing legal consequences or this is what's coming in for them because of actions they took against you. Um, this is someone that may have taken you for granted, someone you had a genuine connection with, but they felt like the big bad wolf. Um, this person may have, uh, in a sense, sold their soul because they had like people came to them to make them some uh, some type of offer possibly to cause you an illusion and this person took the bait. Um, so this person has legal issues coming in. For some of you, this is a masculine that may have stolen some type of money from you or stole something from you um, and now they are facing legal consequences. So for some of you, this is like someone passed away and left a will and you were in their will to receive something. Um, and for some of you, you may have received some type of payout from an institution and maybe you didn't receive your mail in this masculine or maybe even a feminine received the mail and went and accepted your uh, your payout, your abundance, your inheritance. Um, there could be a group of people that are involved in this scheme that went and forged your signature on a document. So if you work for a company, maybe let's say they had like a fire drill or something. And instead of using the regular form that employees will usually sign when they had that fire drill, they had you sign like a plain piece of paper and then they went and got your signature off of that piece of paper and put it on the will or on the document that said that you gave permission for them to receive your your uh, inheritance on your behalf and they were going to disperse it to you or they were going to look out for you, but this is not what happened. Instead, they started maybe miss. Spending, they started spending your money, shared it amongst each other, things of that nature. And these people did this out of greed, out of maliciousness. Um, there's a lot of different situations going on here. For some of you, there's someone in here, like a feminine energy, that's really jealous of you. Um, so she may have done something where she partnered up with an ex and just trying to break your heart because you may be someone that has confidence in this woman, hits that about you. Um, but this person, your ex, whoever this is from your past, is facing legal consequences. This is someone that's going to jail. This is someone that's going to heart going through heartbreak. So if they left you for someone else, they thought someone else was better better than you. Um, they are finding out real quick that the grass was not greener. Um, this person may have even set them up to uh, take the responsibility for the crimes and that they may have committed against you and things like that. Um, and I'm getting this as this is in real time. This is something people are actually going through. So this is not the past or the future. This is present tense that people are going through all of these endings. Someone may be stuck in the past, right? Uh, so someone still believes that they can come in and cause you some type of illusion. Uh, people know that you have a lot of opportunities coming towards you as well. And they are trying to block this. They want to end these possibilities for you. Some people have been guided. Or actually this group, this person in specific, was guided was guided to see things from a higher perspective. Um, but they refuse to do that. Someone wants to instead come in and pick a fight with you because you're speaking the truth. Or you're doing something that's bringing attention to the truth whoever this is is having a really bad day a really bad week a really bad month and a really bad year they have a long road ahead of them there is someone in here that goes to get readings on you they are finding out that you, they are going to be having a horrible ending someone uh, a few people in here are going to prison uh, this is their final destination so um, this is not something they can avoid because at this point they've done so much that it's unavoidable right someone in here keeps i keep here i keep hearing someone saying please don't take me to court please don't sue me absolutely do sue them just like myself when things come out 
when we get to the point where we have enough on these people, we are going to court. There is absolutely no way I'm not going to take you to court. And I don't care if you're a mother, father, brother, sister, godmother, uh, whoever it is, baby, cousin, I'm taking you to court. Um, because some of these people, they know the situations you all are in. Some of you have family to take care of. We all have bills to pay and things like that. But these are heartless and greedy people. So they don't, they don't care what it is they're doing to you as long as they're benefiting from it financially. Um, that's all they care about. So whoever wants to pick a fight with you knows that you are going to stand your ground you are not for the bs uh you put people in their place so someone in a way is terrified of you of running into you um even though they're doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your life with your forward movement there's some type of plot here for some of you, they, these people were plotting to get you caught up in some type of legal action that had nothing to do with you. So they may have said that you stole some money even though you didn't. So this is like someone stealing from work, someone stealing from some type of institution, but then blaming it on you. And the whole time you are employed with this institution, they are putting things in places to make it look like you stole the money. So they may have even forced your signature on a check to make it look like you wrote that check out when you had nothing to do with it. Um, but the time timeline is not adding up so this is like they take this for evidence and people are looking at it like well if this person left this company this day how are you saying that they stole money on this day right it's not adding up um so whatever is going on for all of you all just know that it's going to work out there are legal uh case there are cases going on behind the scenes for some of you that you are not aware of but your ancestors want you to know that they are watching over you they are protecting you if something comes to your attention you are being advised to stand your ground do not let these people intimidate you these are our cowards these are cowards that are spineless they have to do things from behind the scenes because these are people that just uh are not able to face their demons these are people that don't want to see the truth about themselves and a lot of us go through these stages in life where we don't want to hear the truth about what we are because we don't want to take the time or invest in ourselves to fix what's broken within us so instead of investing in ourselves to fix what's broken we will instead instead take that time to try to destroy other people's lives which is not going to be happening for you all uh, so someone here wants you to be left out in the cold but this is what's happening to them there is some type of heavy betrayal that is taking place right and these are by people you don't know and people you know so this is a huge collaboration it's almost as though an entire cult was created just to bring you an ending just to do witchcraft on you just to do voodoo on you so they have been quite busy behind the scenes and these are strangers that uh, uh, um came to your lovers your families your friends paid them money they accepted the money um and they agreed to do certain things to you cause you an illusion and they accepted it uh so they've been trying to block you from being seen like you should be in the public eye for some of you some of you are going to be world renowned some of you are going to be healing the world you have a lot of beautiful things coming ahead of you in your future and this is what these people are trying to block they don't want they don't want you to be seen they don't want you to be heard they don't even want people to know that you exist but you will be you are going <clears throat> going to be presented to the world and you will be in your queen of pentacles energy just know that when this time comes, people are going to want to reunite some type of uh illusionary or delusional relationship with you this is when people are going to be coming out talking about i'm so sorry you know i didn't know that they were lying on you blah 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 but you took money though you knew a lot of your family members they know that what's being said about you are lies they know everything that's been taken up against you are injustices, right? They're not right. But these people, because they accept their money, they're binded in something that they cannot get out of. So this is a whole web. This is like the dark web. You have your own little dark web going on and you don't even know that people are this committed to taking you down and you're just going on about your life. Little old you not realizing that you have a whole cult that's committed to taking you down, okay? you're going to be getting in some type of relationship this could just be like work related where you will be reaping your harvest for all of the hard labor that you put in and someone is extremely disappointed heartbroken about this because this means that you are moving forward even though they've been putting in all of this energy to block your forward movement you're still moving forward that should let you know how much source loves you how much protection you have around you and things like that that a whole group of people can come up again 
against you and still fail. And this is because of your connection to source, your purpose in life. And a lot of these people are doing magic behind the scenes. These are people that go and get readings on other people, you included in themselves, and they know your destiny and they are envious of this destiny that you have. Um, so they are they have been doing everything behind the behind the scenes to block you from moving forward. But as you can see, we have the wheel of fortune out here, which means you are still moving forward. Your destiny is still well intact. You are someone that's meant to heal the world. Um, and quite honestly, I just heard as well, a lot of these people don't know that they are blocking their own blessings by going up against you. So we're going to see how this turns out in the future when these people need your help and have to come to you asking for help. Uh, and it's going to be up to you to either help them or not help them. And Spirit is saying that some of these people, you are absolutely not meant to help because if you help them, you could end up accumulating karma on your own, on your end. So just be mindful of who you are extending help to. <clears throat> There is a king of source in here that wants to communicate with you, that has some type of message they want to give you, and this is in regards to your resources. So someone might want to tell you that you have some type of abundance, you have some type of financial payout that people have been blocking, and this is due to your work. Someone is seeing you as extremely hardworking. Whatever you're doing, <clears throat> excuse me. Whatever you are doing, whether you work for a corporation, whether you work for an enterprise, whether you work on social media, whether you work independently, like you own your own business, it's about to take off because someone sees you as someone extremely uh, committed, hardworking, determined, and things like that. So you may have hidden helpers in hidden places, so we're not going to elaborate on them. We're going to leave them where they are so like source can keep working through them to remove these blockages that these devilish energies are putting in place to block your forward movement. There is something here, and this keeps coming up in my readings. It's like people are, are doing things to keep you in a like state like they don't want you thriving in life and these are people that are not thriving as well in life but they are limited in life right these are people with no type of ambition to move forward in life and because you are working hard towards your ten of pentacles they are intimidated by that there's a lot of envy uh, a lot of greed a lot of jealousy so they're doing everything to block it somebody not somebody a group of people do not want you prospering in life um and they just want you working and working it's like you're just on like a hamster wheel you just keep running and running and running and running but the treat never come um so at the end you get tired you know running on this hamster wheel um and then you end up giving up on your dreams but that's not what's going to happen you are being advised to stand your ground and to keep working keep showing up to work um if you're posting on social media keep posting whatever it is you're doing your business you create products keep creating those products keep listing your products and things like that keep putting word out there on your products you're going to be okay okay um you are the queen of swords. You're showing up here as the queen of swords. You're not playing around with these people. Anybody that wants to come towards you to cause you some type of illusion to steal from you and things like that, you are absolutely pulling your sword out on these people. You don't have time to play. No one has time for any of these mind games, these childish and immature game because this is how these people are coming out and mind you these are a lot of people that are old enough to be your parents your grandparents and it's really embarrassing that they have this much time to sit down and try to block someone else's movement it's like your time is over move on like this is how things work in creation the sun sets on one kingdom and it rises on another this is the cycle of life like enjoy your retirement enjoy your time that you have left doing something else leave the young folks alone a lot of these people just are holding on to some type of old old in day glory that's not coming back these are people that are stuck in some type of old mentality of magic and things like that and it's just not going to work these are people that think for example like my situation where they're cutting off my phone services and things of that nature they think like if they cut off the phone service then we're just not we're just going to say oh well i don't have phone service today so i'm just not going to do my work i'm just not going to call anyone i give up on life it's like are you dumb or something that is not how that works so someone wants to come in cause you some type of solution give you some type of a uh, uh, childish love offer immature love offer this is a knight of cups these are people that are emotionally imbalanced because when they give you a love offer is love 
for one second and then the next minute is that oh i don't like you you get on my nerves and then the next minute i love you you're the love of my life it's so bipolar this is like so bipolar and just unsteady unhealthy so just be mindful someone wants to give you some type of love offer that's just not genuine they because they see you for who you are they know you are the truth and they know that you have some type of resource coming in so they want to attach themselves to you this is why they're going to put on this show you are not focused on love right now focus on your finances stabilizing your life establishing your foundation and things of that nature before you even entertain the whole aspect of falling in love getting into a long-term relationship and things like that um okay uh, so your work your destiny your legacy should be your priority at the moment uh, so that you don't end up falling in love with the wrong person because from what i'm seeing there are a few masculines that are interested in you may want to take actions towards you and some of these people don't have any good intentions for you they just know that you have resources attached to your name so they want to attach themselves so it's like someone may even want to come in and propose to you but they're proposing to you because they know you have resources attached to your name so if you end up getting married make sure you have someone sign a print up make them sign the print up make them sign the print up and if they don't want to sign the print up then you two don't need to get married um so there are some legal cases well legal cases obviously if it's a case it's legal i don't know why i always say that there is a case going on that is going to go in your favor queen of cups um so you're showing up here as the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups as the star see you're extremely uh nurturing and the queen of swords my darling you are a triple threat a quadruple threat <laughs> you're a powerhouse uh so there's a legal there's a case going on here that is going to go in your favor someone here keeps saying i hope she doesn't take me to court when they come to worship they're going to say please don't take me to court someone does not want a lawsuit but they haven't left you any choice because someone was guided these people were guided to walk away but they chose not to because these people are so malicious and greedy they let greed get to their head and so they left you no other choice okay so this is like people stealing from you you're living in poverty you're struggling and they are living the best life drinking mimosas and all of that kicking their legs up going for vacations on your dime and now they want to come in and say oh please don't take me to court we can settle uh, -uh we're going to court darling you wanted a fight i'm bringing a war that's how that goes so someone wants to wants to come in take some type of action against you to cause you an illusion they want you to feel like you are you are the woman or the man of their dreams they want to commit to you they want to settle with you um no they're not okay this person has been forced to walk away judgment has been called into this situation you are going to be elevating like your ancestors in the universe intended for you to elevate because this is part of your soul contract so you are going to be elevating your ancestors are elevating you to the next level in life right you are the phoenix rising from the ashes so you are going to get your just dues your enemies are being forced to walk away whoever this was that was wanting to come towards you to give you some type of ridiculous love offer this is not someone that gives loves unconditionally this is someone incapable of loving unconditionally there will be no brand new passionate beginning in love this is over if this is someone from your past this is over this is someone that is still malicious this is someone that still feels entitled to what is yours someone here feels that what's yours is theirs it's not that's not how it works this is a thief this is someone that pulls tricks behind the scenes to steal from people they're stolen from you before and they are going to do it again if you let them back in your life someone here you are a queen of cups and you are someone extremely passionate about your life and this is how someone sees you right someone sees you as extremely passionate very determined you're someone to have on their team uh, so someone wants to work with you as well and people have been doing quite a lot to block this beginning from happening for you um, so just know even though someone has fun memories of you they know that they cannot come to you with the bs you are showing up in here as a king of swords as well so you are taking things in your life uh you are showing up here in a lot of positive energy uh you're showing up here in both masculine and feminine energy which means that you have learned to balance yourself um so this is absolutely beautiful there is a king of swords in here that has decided to do the right thing this could be the courts that's involved and they have decided to give you what is yours they're no longer holding back 
um, holding away from you what belongs to you. This illusion that people have been causing are no longer working, right? So someone is having nightmares about this because the truth is coming out. People are going to know exactly what they did to you. Everything they said was a lie. This person has some type of huge betrayal coming towards them. And it's going to be worse than what they intended for you. It's like someone was planning to cause you some type of ending where you wouldn't be here anymore. Whereas this person is getting locked up. Uh, don't drop the soap when you get in there, sir, ma'am, whatever. <laughs> don't drop the soap. Um, but they know you're moving forward. Um, you're standing your ground. You're protected. They know they don't even stand a chance against you in this court case um, because there's too much evidence. It's that people had you under some type of investigation, but they didn't realize they were being investigated as well. And now the court um, is taking action to bring balance into the situation. Judgment has been called. Um, there is some type of action being taken to put someone out of a home. Um, and this is someone that may have stolen a home from you. So it's like a home was left to you and someone went and pretended to be you or pretended like you give permission for them to take this home and they are being put out of that home, right? So it can be given back to you. There's something here, but someone wanting to cause some type of arsenic. I did have a vision where I saw someone starting a fire in a house uh, or maybe in a building. Um, and this is because they don't want this coming to you. This person has gotten accustomed to living their best life uh, at your detriment. And because it's been taken away from them, they've been told that they have to leave this house. They want to set it up on fire so that you don't have it. It's still going to come back on you because obviously there's investigations when things like that happen. So they're going to know that this fire was not a natural occurrence and you will have to pay for that property. Uh, so it's Queen of Cups, you're someone extremely hardworking. Just know that you are going to be receiving your abundance, your prosperity. You will be moving forward. Whatever heartbreak people were trying to cause you um, is what they are going to be experiencing. There is some type of like that you experience because of Action these people took some type of heartache, um, but you're still going to be in the public eye. You're coming out of a stuck mentality, state of being, things like that. Uh, you're no longer going to be stuck. You're going to be taking action or you are taking action to move forward with your life. Um, there's someone in here that there is a queen of pentacles that is going to prison. This is someone that's also stuck in their mind. Um, they're like into dark magic, old form of magic, trying to block your resources and things like that. And judgment has been called on this person. She is absolutely going to prison. This is someone that's like a privileged person. Um, but they are extremely wicked. So they are going to jail. Um, this is something this person intended for you. They wanted you to get locked up so you would never have access to the abundance or this opportunity that's meant for you. But unfortunately, they are the one going to prison. All of these illusions they've been causing and things like that, it, it's just not working anymore because people are seeing things for what exactly they are. So this is the end for these people. Um, balance is being brought in this situation. As I said, there is a couple in here that has been causing some type of illusion but the decision has been made to give you what is yours it's like this couple has been pretending like they had your best interest at heart but they haven't um so a decision has been made to take away from them what belongs to you this is like a couple that has fallen from grace so this could be like a religious couple that partner up with these people to cause you some type of ending pretending like they had your best interest at heart and they have fallen from grace they're in some type of sorrow they're losing a lot of finances and things like that the female in this relationship got really accustomed to living a good life uh, it's going to be a, 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 an illusion for you very soon because you're going to be thinking that it was all uh, uh, in your imagination with how things are about to turn around for you. Um, yeah, so there's an ending coming in here. There could be people that are passing away, um, people losing jobs, people being unemployed, people uh, going through divorces, losing their homes, cars all kinds of things, people falling ill. Um, these people are walking around wearing a mask, pretending that things are okay when they are not okay. Um, so, but I think people see the truth for what it is. People know exactly what these people were up to all of this time. So there's really nothing they can do to keep pretending. It's that you pretend like you are not dying on the inside, but people already know, oh, you did that to that earth angel. We know what you're going through. You can't pretend anymore. So not only, so I want to emphasize that these people do not feel guilty about what they did to you. They are just feeling uh, remorse because they got caught in doing what it is they were doing to you. So if these people would have never been cut, 
they would have never stopped doing what they were doing. So there is no genuine remorse here. All of these people, none of them have any genuine remorse, okay? They just feel bad because of the fact that the truth has come out. Um, they have been caught in the act. They can no longer steal from you. They cannot come in and cause you some type of illusion. Someone wanted to send some type of masculine towards you. This is a feminine energy that wanted to send a masculine towards you to cause you some type of delusional love situation, make you believe that he was in love with you. But this is like a loose man this is one of her boy toys this is some this woman is in a relationship or sleeps around so this was one of her boy toys that she was going to send towards you someone had you under some type of investigation that just was not legal um is that she was in persistent uh persisting that you were not who you were putting yourself out to be so she had you investigated had your privacy violated you may have even had people coming into your home when you're not around putting cameras into the walls and things like that, monitoring you, interfering with your phone calls. So your phone calls have been being listened to, emails being blocked or deleted, uh, phone text messages being deleted, deleted and things like that. It's like they see your messages before you see them. So they will delete them before it even makes it to you. So it doesn't make it to you as well. There's some type of remote access someone has to a phone, to a computer, they have remote access to a lot of different things um, and they are doing things behind the scenes to block any type of communication from coming towards you from the courts, from a masculine that's interested in you. So there are a lot of interferences going on and it's because these people are making malicious, doing malicious things behind closed doors, uh, taking actions to block you from coming into contact with this masculine or this opportunity, okay? Someone in here is being guided to see see things from a higher perspective, uh, choose a different path uh, so that they are not stuck in what is to come or what's happening. But this person is extremely stubborn. They did not listen. They were still set on coming in to cause you some type of illusion. Um, and things are moving forward for you, but this person's karma is catching up to them because they were still persistent um, in coming to uh, uh, cause you this illusion to make you believe that you two are some type of soul twin, whatever they want to call it. Um, but this is someone extremely malicious and has no good intentions for you. So I'll see you in my next read. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.